Hello guys, welcome to my vlog. My name is Johannes Nickel and today it's about don't roam, stay at home. That's uh, kind of the slogan the German roamers announced. It's a collective of photographers from Germany to motivate the people to stay at home. They uploaded a few raw files of their photos that you can edit. So you can just download them. I put the link in the description. That's great, isn't it? It's at least for a few hours you can you can play around with it and you don't get bored at home. That's what I do as well today. Here on this vlog I'm gonna edit the photos and let's start with the first one. The first photo was shot by Max Fischer. Here's the raw file and I will put this Insta handle and the handle of the others always here somewhere. It was uh, shot in the Harz area. It's in the north of Germany. Beautiful area. I haven't explored it that much till till now but definitely want to go there one day maybe soon maybe not so soon we will see here's what i did first of all i imported all these photos into lightroom and then what i did with this first picture i pressed the auto button and that's something i always try when i have a new photo sometimes it's good sometimes not so good this time we will leave it like this and then I choose a preset of mine and use a graduated filter for the foreground to increase the exposure a little and then I also used a graduated filter to brighten up the dark areas in the right corner plus I made it a little warmer and added some tint. Then I used another graduated filter to make the super bright parts a little warmer. Also added some tint and then just some fine tuning and that's pretty much it for the first photo. Here's the result. Let's have a look. Yeah, that came out quite good. A uh, really quick edit for this one. Uh, let's have a look at the second one. Shot by Yannick Obenhof. Here's his Insta handle as well. First thing I did with this photo, I removed some dust with a spot removal tool. And then you can see the auto button I clicked. It didn't work for me. It came out way too dark. I wanted this golden light to shine, so I brightened it up in the beginning. And then I used my preset felt bear. And I tried to push that gold and dehaze it a little for some more detail details and then just some trial and error while fine-tuning this picture. In the end some HSL settings to control the colors a little, the U, the saturation, the luminance and here's the result for our second photo. This one came out pretty good as well, don't you think? Uh, I love these golden light sceneries with some fog in there and all that, so it fits my style. As you can see here in the background as well, shot on felt there in the a black forest area, of course. Before you say, oh, he's just using presets all the time, you can use them as well. I will put a Dropbox link into the description of this video and there you can just download the presets for free it's for free and just try them probably they will fit best for canon i'm not an expert for presets just give it a try if you like and if you want to support me i will also put their uh, paypal link there you can donate maybe a little euro or two or five or ten whatever you like so just in case you want to support me it's hard times for artists these days but we will make it through this together don't you think let's go on with photo number three that's the raw file shot by johannes Hoon. shot at dragon castle probably somewhere in the rhine land area i'm not sure i definitely spend uh, most time with this photo first of all i put my preset on there called Warnemünde and re reduced the grain the preset normally brings with it. Afterwards I added some vignette for a more dramatic look and I used some graduated filters again for the foreign background and then I thought it could be a great idea to add some kind of shimmering light in the window. For this I used the radial filter and just uh, increased the exposure and the white balance so there comes some golden light. Next step was to remove some objects in the picture and I thought it could be a great idea to get some more depths in the mid-ground so I painted there a little and did some dust removal. It worked out quite well, I'm okay with it. Then I brought this uh, picture into Photoshop to remove some more disturbing objects and then some just, just, just some last fine-tuning and here's the finished photo.
So this is uh, more of a different edit. I usually not do that often. I did once with a pirate ship. I can show you here. Yeah, let's go on with the next photo. Shot by Leonard Pagel at the Lake Eibsee in Bavaria. It's a beautiful place I've only seen in winter so far. So it was kind of interesting to edit a photo with some fresh spring wipes in there. So here's the raw file. Hit that auto button and choose a preset. In this case, Dublin. Bring some fresh greens in there. And then I brightened up the foreground a little. Brought down the exposure in the background to get some more details in the sky. And then the mountain range there in the background as well as, as increasing the temperature a little to get a little warmer tone then i cropped it for the instagram thing four to five placed the paddler in the lower third so we have a great composition after this i did some beauty retouching in photoshop so just removed some parts in this picture i didn't like it's just some tiny little details but they're important then afterwards i brought back to lightroom and did some fine tuning using the hsl settings once again then i wanted the paddler and the boat pop out a little more so i painted the areas with the adjustment brush and brightened it up a little it came out like this Ah, oh, this really makes me want to go out on a little pedal tour. <laughs> but let's go on with the next photo shot by Daniel Ernst in the town of the region in Germany. I don't know yet. So maybe I will visit it this summer. We can go out again, hopefully. Let's see. First thing I did, Barnemünde preset. Then I opened it in Photoshop. Did some retouching with a stem and the healing brush. Easy little steps. Back to Lightroom. Some fine adjustments in the colors to make the beautiful autumn colors pop out a little the green and the orange and in the end i used the gradient filter in the corners to darken the corners so get more of a dramatic look and the eye of the beholder is forced to watch this couple wandering around the final result let's have a look super cool autumn vibes right before i go on i need some refreshment trying this Fanta Exotic, never tried it before. It's orange juice, maracuya and peach. Let's give it a try. Uh, yeah, well, not the best, not, not the best Fanta I had so far. Let's go on with the next photo. Shot by Yannick Heck and the Zwillbrocker Fen. Whatever this is, it's beautiful. First of all, I cropped it to the Insta size. I decided to center the flamingos in the middle of the picture. And after this, I used the Dublin preset once again to get some greens in there and the reds also quite good with this preset. And as you maybe realize already, I love the HSL settings. I ended up there once again and I used them to make the flamingos pop out a little more, the red orange tones to get them a little pop and then some gradients on the top and on the bottom and that's already it quite good don't you think the next shot is from hannes becker a great photographer as well this shot is from the ghost forest gespensterwald in the north of germany beautiful place i've been there two three times already and it's a drone shot this time really like it it's hard to edit for me. I tried my very best. I played around a little, a little longer to be honest. Main thing I did, I lowered the saturation in the cliff area to make it look more like a chalk cliff that you also can find at the Baltic Sea. In the end I tried to create kind of darker look just like after the storm when the sea is full of sediments and pretty pretty dark water. I tried this and uh, I also tried to add some more depth and darkness in the forest with a adjustment brush and here's what came out let me know what you think i don't know let's see next one please already shot number eight shot by roman Königshofer in tirol austria really really like this photo i really like uh, most of his work he does really awesome photos in the mountains he lives somewhere there really really great stuff and i think you don't really need to edit this but let's give it a try 
open it in Photoshop first to remove some tiny little things to clean it a little and then back to Lightroom. I put a preset on and decided to take the Hamburg 2 preset. It brings more of a red glow to the light hitting the rocks instead of the other Hamburg preset that would make it look more golden. Kind of also beautiful but this fits much better with the snow and is it a glacier? I'm not sure. It looks like a snow ice whatever this is. Looks pretty good and then I create Dropped it, did some fine adjustment, and uh, there we go. Here's photo number eight. Wow, that's uh, woo, that was a that is an awesome photo. Photo number nine, shot by Leo Thomas on Helgoland. It's the only high sea island of Germany. Fun fact: Leo Thomas and I grew up in the same area, so I'm always happy when he posts photos from the north of Germany as I grew up there, but don't live there anymore at the moment. He really can catch these northern vibes. Let's try to edit this photo. Super dark photo this time. Push the auto button and then bring it to Photoshop. Clean it a little, just some removal stuff. And then this time I decided to not use a preset and just edit it from the scratch. First of all, some dehaze to get some more details. And then I also used some gradients on top and on the bottom for the exposure and the color. Therefore, I just used the white balance settings and then I realized I love the details in the wool of the white sheet in the middle. So I tried to bring it out a little. If I brighten it up and here's the finished photo already. <sighs> Number 10, last but not least, uh, shot by Max Münch, the Zugspitze. Here's the raw file. I've been there once, it's quite a while ago. It was on a class trip, I think in the sixth or seventh grade. The first time for me seeing the Alps and uh, I'm still always impressed when going there. So I, I will try to explore the mountains more in the future. Let's edit this beautiful photo. I first cropped it and brought it into Photoshop, some beauty retouching, just removed some elements to get a kind of a cleaner look and then back into Lightroom. I decided to go for the Feldberg preset, but didn't like the blue in the sky. It was kind of oversaturated for me. I brought down the saturation in the blues and I also changed the hue of the yellow, orange and red for the rock, uh, the light on the rock. Then as a cherry on the cake, I brightened up the, the kind of a bubble on the summit's cross. And here's the finished photo. And that's been it of this week's vlog. Uh, I hope you like watching it. If you do so, leave a thumbs up. And thanks to the German Romans again for providing us these photos. And if you want to edit them as well, you can download them. Link in the description as well as the link for my presets. You can just download for free. You can donate uh, on PayPal if you'd like to. You don't have to. A huge thank you go out to Milan Janik. Check out his work. He's doing great stuff here in the Black Forest area. I love to roam together with him. And he was kind of his advice. Hey, why don't you do a video about these uh, German Romos FFA photos? Thanks Milan. Check out his work. Put it in the description. And you can subscribe somewhere over here. You can watch another video over here. Stay safe. Um, Stay safe. That's pretty much it. Bye bye. Have a great time. Take care. Ciao. Don't try this at home.